whilst we were walking to this spot at the uh, Westfield Colliery, talking a bit of history about it. It was opened back in 1955-1956. It was an open cast colliery, so they're pulling coal out of the ground here. At its peak, it was producing 20,000 tonnes uh, of product, which is the equivalent to 40% of the Scottish open cast resources. Obviously, it all closed down now, and it's more like a, a little nature reserve, but hopefully this spot is going to be decent. Hit my first challenge. I knew it was going to be like this. This looks rough. Oh, we made it pass. Just found a load of ice that I nearly slipped our ass over on. I've taken the dogs for walks around this part and down there. But the part I'm interested in is way over that way. This is pretty wet though, so I'm not holding out too much hope on that area being dry. Anyone fancy a climb? Not me. It was the largest open cast coal pit in the UK. It claims it was the largest pit in Europe, but there's a few counter claims from other countries that uh, claim they had the largest open cast coal pit. I'm reasonably confident this was the largest pit in Europe, just from looking at everything I found online. I'm a little bit lost because I cannot remember from looking on the satellite. If I have to go down that way, over there, or if it's over that way, we'll find out. Don't know if you can see that little one over there. I say little one, that swan. Just started chasing me, the little bugger. Got about halfway across the grass, so I made a bit more of a rapid movement. I've had some uh, odd experiences with swans chasing me before. So whilst we walk, I thought I'd tell you about the swan story, because I think I've got a bit of way to go still. So back when I was uh, maybe 17, 18, when I lived down in Somerset in Taunton, used to go fishing a lot, used to get out this uh, little dinghy boat and go up and down the canal and the river. So me, Ryan, his brother Charlie, got in this little dinghy. We were just going up the river, we had a little mission, we were going to go from right by our house all the way into the town centre, get off, have some lunch, go for maybe a little skate or something then. And we got right up to the bridge that's right near the Morrisons, where we used to skate. And there was a couple of swans, and realised they had little swan babies, signets. And the mama swan was not happy about us being within the area of her, so she started charging us. And they are extremely fast and graceful, it doesn't look like they're putting any effort in. And we, we paddled like fuck to get away. And uh, I say we did, Ryan paddled like fuck, because I couldn't paddle. Charlie was reasonable. We got to, pretty much all the way back to where we started, this one took us back to and uh, managed to get out on this embankment that was so, so slippy. But we got up, got out, and <laughs> the swan just stayed in the water so we couldn't get back in. Coming up to the spot that I saw on the satellite, it is definitely too wet to skate. We can at least scout it, see what it looks like. It's a lot of moss, actually. All right, let's see what's going on here. You got a bank here, that ground is haggard, but I mean, I bought a brush up and started sweeping it. I think if you get rid of this moss underneath, it's just solid. Yeah, see, it's salvageable. This place, that not so salvageable, there's a lot of moss to contend with there. Yeah, I don't think I can clear that up even with a brush. Maybe I could do the top though, and you've got a tiny gap here. There's possibilities here. Just annoyed that it's soaking wet. See, that's, that's the equivalent of a little handrail down the side of a gap. Not a gap, down a, a ramp. Let's see, sweep that up. Oh, moss landing though. I don't know, maybe if you clear that moss, you could do a couple of tricks into that bit and then down it. Ground's rough, but there's less moss here. Comes off quite easy. Now, a lot of skaters are quite picky with their ledges, but I love this sort of rough, haggard ledge. A ton of wax on it, and it will slide. This is pretty solid, and that's metal. You got these little gaps here. This, this is skatable. It's fucking soaking though, but it's skatable. You don't want to fall into all that stuff, but this is possible. I reckon that that would clean up all right. Yeah, look underneath that. It's quite smooth. 
You could make a little manual pad out of this. My drink exploded in my backpack. So this is the driest bit I can find. So we're gonna skate some flat land, see what happens. wind turbines behind me there's four of them you can see but there's five in total on this site they started construction on these in 2012 to have them up and running by 2013 and they were put here to supply six and a half thousand homes with electricity in the local area which is phenomenal and I assume these contribute to the house I live in a few miles away but they were up and running and all here by the time I moved up here five years ago so absolutely wonderful things to see anyway that's uh it's my day over from skating Europe's largest hole. Wasn't much skating, can't be helped with the weather, but uh, I'm gonna come back with the brushes, wax, some shovels, we'll get this all cleaned out and we'll have a proper skate up here soon. Anyway, all the best guys, have a good one, speak soon.